I was scrolling on Instagram today when I saw something insane. One of the most iconic Pokemon card collectors who's been involved in some of the biggest Pokemon card deals in history, including several of Logan Paul's ventures, was selling a collection of his and I couldn't pass it up. So I messaged him with a deal. So the lot's worth $650. Why not toss in an extra $850 worth of slabs and fun stuff? Make it like a mystery box for $1,500. He happily agreed and sent the package out. And after a week of waiting, it finally arrived. Okay, we've got it. The box is here. And as you can see, actually, it's suffered a little bit of damage on the way in and also like think somebody took something from that i could we could really get in there i'm curious to see what all we ended up getting all right and opening up the box we've got a bubble package oh oh my god we've got a, a second second holy ah two bubble packages of packs or cards or slabs i see some slabs in there oh i'm really curious to see what we get in terms of graded stuff okay so we got this package here we're gonna take this, we're gonna put it over to the side. We're gonna open that one last. I got a feeling that's gonna be the juicy one because this right here, this little slab of slabs should be good. Okay, I'm just gonna rip from the top. I feel like we could, you know, not have to be too careful with this because for $1,500, I'm gonna assume we're gonna get some pretty, pretty, like, pretty cool slabs. Hopefully some cool Pokemon, but I wouldn't expect anything like insane. Or maybe we get something insane. We'll have to see. Oh my God. Oh, these aren't slabs, I forget. Okay, these are raw cards. Oh my God, that's a lot of them. Okay, $1,500 in Pokemon cards from one of the best collectors in the world. Let's see what we get. Card number one. Oh, first edition Neo Chinchow. Nice. And we've got, nice, another first edition Neo card. Looking like we're probably gonna get a lot of these first edition. Yes, first edition Neo Genesis Snubble. Very cool. These are like minty first edition cards. We got a Star You, followed by an unknown. I like the unknowns. Those are cool. These are Neo Revelation cards, aren't they? Oh, first edition Team Rocket. Wow, Dark Flare and I just had a massive first edition Team Rocket graded thing. So this is cool to see this card. This one can be valuable. That's awesome. And the quality on it overall looks pretty good too. Very cool. Okay, so we're seeing a lot of vintage. Oh my god, first edition Dark Charmeleon. Seeing a lot of vintage. Okay, that's banging. That's nice. We got a lot of Team Rocket. First edition Dark War Turtle. Back in the hype of 2020 and 2021, these Pokemon cards, specifically these three, we're going for a lot of money apiece. So who knows what they're going for now and the quality of them, but we got some more first... Ooh, wow, this is Blaine's Kangaskhan. Nice. Wow, a lot of first edition vintage cards here. It's a Pikachu. Oh, this is base set. It's a base set Pikachu. Wow, this is all vintage so far. This is all vintage. Oh my God, there's two of them. Double Pikachu. Do we get a third? No, we get a Charmeleon. And this is from base set. Base set Charmeleon. Oh, sick, dude. These are these are all vintage, man. We got a Chaos First Edition Chaos Gym card. Okay. We got a Brox Vulpix. What a fiery fun card. Oh, I guess we just keep going to this Koga's Muck. I wonder if we're going to hit any hollows in here. Brox Dug Trio. Because again, this is all vintage, all very cool Pokemon. Koga's Arbok. Some of these cards I've never had in my personal collection before, so it's cool to have them. Brox Protection, first edition. And the fact these are first edition cards. Sabrina's Kadabra is so cool. Oh, nice. We got an e-reader card. We got Mary's Impulse Trainer card. I don't really know much about this card or what set it's from. What else do we have in here? Another e-reader card. We got a Bell Sprout. This is... Which set is that? Is that Aquapolis? Yeah, that was Aquapolis. Cool. Oh, coughing. Wow. That's a sick e-reader coughing card, followed by a Houndour. Okay, so now we've got some e-series things. Whole lot of them. Clefairy. All still vintage. Electabuzz, who's like gnawing through a wire. There's a Energy Search. We've got a Mr. Mime from Aquapolis. That card's terrifying. Okay, moving through this, another Mr. Mime. Very cool. We've got an Execute. Whoa, it's like pink. Interesting. These are Quapolis cards and Atkins. That's a sick Atkins card. Wow, so we're just getting freaking loaded up on vintage. Sand Shrew. We've got a Mischievous. Oh, these are Sky Ridge, dude. These are from Sky Ridge. We got Sky Ridge cards in here. That's amazing. Okay, cool, cool. We got a Dual Ball. We got a Lapras from Sky Ridge as well. Got a Rhyhorn. Okay, now we're like, yeah, we're deep into Sky Ridge. Back into uh, Aquapolis. Into Sky Ridge. This is cool. I don't really have many e-reader cards in my set. Oh, and back into the first edition. Erica's Kindness. We got Erica's Clefairy. A lot of Erica in the house. So all these cards, Misty's Tears. That's a card? Misty's Tears? All these cards really make me wonder, what is in that bag over there? That bubble wrapping. What do we have deep in that? Shinchou. And will we find any holographic cards or any big rare cards in this massive stack of, I mean, just so many vintage cards. So much Aquapolis, so much first edition. We got Drowsy, we got Execute. There's a Swinub. Really curious to see what else the homie hooked us up with. A Flaffy, that's fun. Okay, oh, this is beautiful. Trainer Copycat, it's a very colorful card. Six, they're still in the E-Series, still got a ton of E-Series. Haven't seen anything hollow or reverse hollow yet, but I know that there are some vintage hollows and reverse hollows possibly in this stack because I saw a little bit on the Instagram listing, but I didn't look too hard. Choke, okay, Ghastly, yup, we've got another Ghastly, another Ghastly. Fill me up with Ghastly's Poliwag. 
a Forest Guardian. We've got a Ratatata, aka Graveler, aka. Get through the stack here. We're almost done with it. Marowak. That's a, honestly a beautiful Marowak card. I really like the art on that. That's nice. A Tentacool, followed by a Horsey. All right, come on. Give me something. Oh, there we go. An Unlimited Dark Magneton from Team Rocket Holographic. Definitely a bit worn. As you can see, the hollow foil is like pretty, it's pretty scratched up. Or you can see like kind of like some of the scratches that went on it. So. Uh, not the highest quality holo, but still if for a holographic vintage card. Super, super exciting, and this is a really, really cool one too. Dark Magneton. Wow, nice. Cool, first holo. Okay, okay. Now we're gonna start hitting hollows, eh? We start on the right side of the pack. We got a holographic jungle Kangaskhan. Oh, that's sick. Is this, are these all hollows then? Oh, okay, now we get into the actual cards. Sweet, not actual cards, but other cards too. So we got two vintage hollows. Now we get some Charizard. So these are the Champion's Path promo Charizard Vs. Oh, we've got a ton of them. Oh, we've got, oh, he loaded us up with these Charizard Vs. Okay, this is, we are, we are raining, it is raining Charizard, it's raining Charizard. Is this, is this all, are these all Charizards? Oh, they are, my god. I have the Charizard power. Look at my Zards, man, look at my Zards. Would love to get those ones graded. Okay, cool, so, so far we got a ton of singles Charizards, we got two vintage holographic cards, and then an absolute boatload of vintage commons. Now the big question is, what is left in this red plastic bubble wrap. Because again, $1,500 worth of cards definitely was not this. Obviously very curious at how much those cards stack out to be, but this is probably where a lot of the value is going to be. And it's double bubbled, which means there's gotta be something juicy in here. Oh, and it's super duper taped up. This is, this was, this was packaged with a lot of care. Michael, thank you. Okay, gonna rip this as careful as possible. I don't wanna mess anything up. I see slabs. Oh, here we go. Okay, sweet. We've got slabs, baby. Oh, that's PSA. We've got Beckett. All right. And again, big thank you. And happy collecting. Appreciate it. Oh, there's like, there's like, oh, these might be some really cool cards in here. We'll do this one last. All right, let's go one by one and see what slabs we got in this little $1,500 mystery box. Starting with a Beckett graded slab, which is... Oh, it's a Mewtwo, no way. A base set holographic mint nine Mewtwo, graded by Beckett, wow. Really, really cool card. I, I literally love this card, especially from base set. And honestly, a super duper strong grade. We got 8.5 centering, 9.5 corners, 9.5 edges, nine surface. Wait, this is shadowless. Oh my God, I didn't realize this. This is a base set shadowless mint nine Mewtwo. Dude, what? This is actually huge, man. This is such a sick freaking wow. I don't own any shadowless cards in my in my graded collection specifically. So a base set shadowless <laughs> Mewtwo Hollow at a nine, so sick. Next up, we've got a PSA slab. Let's see what we've got. It's a Magneton Hollow. No way from Aquapolis. Wow, the Hollow foil really, really interesting on this Aquapolis. As you can see, it's like there's like just a couple of parts on it that that like has kind of a hollowy look. Wow, that's super interesting. It's like barely hollow. I wouldn't be able to, I would, I would barely recognize this if I pulled it and, and I didn't, I would not know this was a hollow. But really, really cool card. And again, this is out of Aquapolis. So this is vintage. It's a PSA 9 holographic. Wow, sick. Well, also I'm looking around on eBay right now. This, this Mewtwo is like, this is like a two, three, four hundred dollar card. This one's expensive. That's sick. Wow. Next up from the homie, we've got another PSA slab, which is a three, two, one. Bam! It's a Charmander, a PSA ten Shadowless Charmander, dude. No way, bro. This is this is actually insane. Really cool little PSA history. It's like a hundred dollar card, a little bit over a hundred dollars. Very nice. Wow. Well, okay. Coming off of a Charmander, what do we got? It's a Squirtle, a PSA ten Squirtle Shadowless, which is like a two hundred dollar card, dude. This is a banger. Wow. Shadowless first edition PSA ten, dude. Insane. Then we. We've got what I think is the last slab before we check that last little pack. And inside of it is a Bulbasaur Shadowless at a PSA 10. Wow, he gave us the full set. Another card worth like $100 to $200. Man, look how sick this is, dude. Squirtle, Charmander, and Bulbasaur. All PSA 10 Shadowless cards. That's super dope. And that's not all. We still have this little package right here, which, I mean, it has... There's kind of a lot inside of it. Okay, let's... Wow, there's, there's actually a ton. And these were packaged separately or individually. So again, big shout out to the homie. Really appreciate you putting this together and sending this over. And let's see what loose cards we have last. Starting with a Blaine's Charmeleon. Oh, sick. First edition, Blaine's Charmeleon. Looks like in really, really good quality. Like, actually, fantastic quality too. Wow, that's nice. Followed by a Blaine's Charmander. Oh my God, is there... 
Is there gonna be a Charizard in there, dude? First edition Blaine's Charmeleon. First edition Blaine's Charmander. We got the whole family coming in. We've got an Erica's Ivysaur first edition as well. I love the theme of the starters, the Kanto starters. That's good. And a first edition Charmander. Bro, we're getting freaking Charmandered out right now. Let's go. I guess we literally do have an entire stack of Charizard right here, too. So, I, like, this makes sense, you know? Wow, beautiful Charmander. And the final card from the homie is Say Squirtle first edition from Team Rocket. Wow, really, really dope. A lot of cool cards at the end here, including the Blaine's Charmeleon and Blaine's Charmander. That's so sick. Some sick pulls. Wow, well, again, massive thank you to the Pokeju for sending these over. What a legend. And thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and check out the other videos on screen. I'll see you in the next one.